In this video we're going to step through the complete process of submitting a return with ABC SA100, looking at some key features of the software along the way. Start by creating a tax return and giving it a name. This is not sent to HMRC, it is just used to identify the return locally, in case you create multiple returns. If this is the first time you have used ABC SA100 software, start with an empty tax return. You can use evaluation mode while entering your data, you don't need to purchase a license until you are ready to submit. You will see that the software has a main area of content, which is where the form will be displayed, and to the left of that is a table of contents which lists all the sections of the form. At the top, your total tax liability is displayed, which will update as you put data into the form. To proceed, click the next button in the bottom right. You could alternatively jump to a section by clicking in the table of contents, but using the next button to work through the whole form is an easy way to ensure you don't miss anything. At any point you can see where you are by looking at the breadcrumbs in the top left. Work through the form filling out the boxes that are relevant to you. If you miss out a mandatory field, or enter a value that is not allowed, when you come to leave the page a pop-up will appear. You can choose to either stay on the page and fix it, or leave the page with the error in place, and come back to it later. As we will see, before you submit, the software will display any outstanding errors and ensure you attend to them. The What Makes Up Your Tax Return section has questions such as Do you need to fill in the UK property pages? As you tick these boxes, the relevant supplementary forms get added, you can see them get added in the table of contents. You can keep using the next button and you will be stepped through all the pages relevant to you. As you enter data, the headline tax liability updates immediately. At this point my only income is £200 interest that has already been taxed, so I'm due a rebate. Throughout the form, many of the boxes have question mark buttons next to them, which you can click to open the relevant page in the HMRC guidance notes. At this point I'm in the UK property section that I indicated I needed. Now I've put some rental income in, my tax liability is positive. At any point, you can click the summary button at the top to view a summary of how the liability was calculated, including personal allowance. When you get to the end of the form, the validation status page will display any errors, where each one has a link to the relevant part of the form. You can then use the back button to return to the validation status page. Once you have no validation errors, you are able to submit to HMRC. At this point, if you haven't already purchased a license, click the button in the pop-up to visit our online shop. Go to the checkout, then pay with a bank card or PayPal. When your purchase is complete, you will see a license key, which you can copy and paste into the middle box in ABC SA100, then click Activate. You can then click Submit to HMRC and you will be prompted for your government gateway ID and password. Click Submit and your data will be sent directly to HMRC, where they will check the submission including verifying that the liability calculated by ABC SA100 is correct. The process takes about 20 seconds and should culminate in a submission successful message, which includes a code called an IR mark, which acts like a digital receipt and can be used to prove you submitted at that time. Since ABC SA100 is a local installation with nothing in the cloud, we then strongly recommend that you export the complete return and the SA302 calculation summary to PDF for your records. And you're done. That's a task out of the way for another year. Thanks for watching.